Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Design Lab. I got a lot of requests and some of them were to try something creature based, which I'm not very good at, but I decided to run with that and since I recently watched a movie called Troll Hunter, which is pretty good, uh, I decided to go with a theme called Troll Hound which I guess is like a troll, not the kind of that you might find on the internet, but the kind you might find in, say, Finland or something like that. And I decided to go with like a hound, so maybe it's like a troll's pet dog or just some kind of four-legged troll or whatever, whatever, something like that. So here's some of my descriptors. I wanted something classical, obviously. Traditional troll, no sci-fi weird stuff, no alternate stuff. Just kind of a very traditional uh, looking troll type uh, creature. So lots of stinkiness and hairiness and obviously four legs since this is a hound or a dog or something. Uh, so the brush I'm going to use for this particular episode is uh, the thick and thin pen which I usually use for painting but as you can see uh, it kind of has the same flat shape like you see in the scratch board tool that I used two episodes ago uh, but the only difference is this one has an opacity setting so the harder I press the more opacity um, but it still gets those kind of wild shapes um, that you can see if you just kind of dab the brush around you get a lot of weird shapes and since there's opacity they kind of layer on top of each other and you get a lot of depth and really weird stuff uh, can happen. So it should be a lot of fun and let's jump right into the design process. So right away um, I think I realized that I hadn't done really any creature designs especially from thumbnail design up. Maybe I'd done like a couple quick little creatures, but I hadn't done any that like involved thumbnails and anything with any process. Uh, so this was kind of new to me. And uh, to get ready before I even started even trying to do thumbnails, I did draw a couple references of like dogs and things just to get my brain working in a more organic way and kind of getting used to that shape of things. Uh, because everything, even the way I move my brush around and kind of the, the tools I use and everything like that, they're kind of more geared toward uh, doing industrial shapes um, and kind of having these kind of blocky lines and a lot of straight lines that I get with the brushes and stuff. And it doesn't work good for organic stuff, obviously, uh, where you don't want straight lines. You want a lot of like kind of curves and you want curves that kind of line up with the other curves and... Uh, very non-exact ways, kind of loose organic ways. Um, so certain people are really good at doing this kind of uh, organic uh, creature design. And it's just kind of something you get used to. Uh, but anyway, here's two designs so far. Uh, the one, the first one's kind of sporing, getting my feet wet. Uh, the second one's a little more interesting. It has a bit of more of a dynamic pose. You can see I'm using the thick and thin brush to try to make them look hairy. Uh, especially underneath, like there's a lot of, you know, gruff and hair kind of falling underneath them. They're not that well kept. Stuff like that. Um, just to kind of go back and mention the movie once again, Troll Hunter. It's a very good movie. I recommend you watch it. You can see it on Netflix streaming for the time being. Um, but it's basically Blair Witch Project meets Where the Wild Things Are. It's the best way I can describe it. Uh, but it, no, it's just kind of an interesting movie, and I feel like it's the first movie I've ever seen that had, that took trolls like they were supposed to be serious things. Um, you just don't see that very much. You don't see trolls, like very movie, very many movies about trolls. Uh, obviously there's kind of those classically bad movies like Troll and Troll 2 from like the 80s. Uh, but those were kind of not dealing with like traditional kind of stereotypes and um, the mythology about trolls uh, like this movie does. So it was kind of interesting, kind of unique, and a lot of fun to watch. Uh, so there we go. That's number three. It's a bit like number two, but I tried to give it like this elongated nose and everything. And kind of that feels like a very trollish thing to have. It's like a very elongated, like bulbous nose. So I was trying to figure out ways to incorporate that into a, you know, a more dog-like creature, or, you know, something 
uh, more like that. So kind of still trying to give it that bulbous nose and maybe like a really small under jaw or something like that. Um, and I kind of tried to do some stuff like uh, here with multiple heads and stuff because I know there's some troll kind of mythology and stuff where they have multiple heads and uh, stuff like that. And in the movie, they had one with multiple heads, and they suggested that it, they, as they get older, that maybe trolls grow more heads, and they're not actually functioning heads. They're just for show, uh, and they just kind of show off the age of a troll and stuff like that. Uh, but here's one here. His head's kind of put down. It looks kind of like a goat, doesn't it? Or like Eeyore. It's kind of a depressing looking little creature I drew there. Uh, once again, still trying to capture that furriness. Uh, but if you notice what I did on this page, I actually just made random blots on different parts of the page. And I figured I'd go into each one of those little blops. Those blops, I'll call them. Like Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, call Those blops, I'll just go into each one of those blops and make a little design out of it um, because I really don't know what I'm doing I'll be honest with you there's a lot of people that are really good at creature designs and stuff like that uh, but yeah as, even though uh, I'm good at doing certain things and maybe industrial designs and stuff like that those skills don't necessarily translate over into doing things like creatures uh, they kind of do very slightly but it's just a whole different vibe uh, so with this one, I'm trying to, with kind of six and seven, they kind of look like they have sticks and things and kind of branches coming out of them, uh, stuff like that. Um, trying not to get too much into like a Shadow of the Colossus type vibe because that's a little different than what a troll should be, uh, but not too different actually. Um... So, stuff like that. I tried to give them all tails, uh, because that seemed to be a theme among trolls, is that they usually have tails of some fashion. Uh, tails and hairiness and stinkiness. And uh, I think my only exposure to trolls when I was younger was those little troll dolls that were popular way back in the early 90s, maybe late 80s. I'm not actually sure when that was. Uh, but those were kind of cutesy, and they had little jewels, and uh, the only thing uh, notable about them was they certainly had the hairiness, and they had the wild hair, and kind of the bulbous nose and face, uh, which are kind of stereotypical of trolls. But other than that, they were kind of made to be more cutesy and accessible, and not scary, and weird, and stuff like that. So once again, hairy troll, ugly face. I kind of made these a bit vague with how the facial... The facial features will be constructed, and I figure I'll just wing that uh, when I actually do a more finished piece. Uh, so I guess there's not too much variety. I kind of have these bulky uh, torsos, bulky up front, smaller in the back, and I feel like I probably did that a bit too much. Uh, so, you know, my bad. Uh, I could have had a bit more variety in the creatures, but uh, if you don't have that visual library, it's kind of hard. It's something you have to build up. Uh, if I kept doing creatures like this and then I come back in, you know, a few months, I'd probably have a much bigger visual library and get a lot more diversity and depth in my designs. Uh, but as it stands, that's all I could come up with for now. Be sure to give me any feedback you might have about anything. Thanks for watching.